coming on to the next operator that is going to be our comma operator now the comma operator is usually meant for initializing the values or declaring the values in multiple numbers for example if i want to have five variables all of them i want to be var of var type i want if i want five variables and for that i am not going to write separate five lines in one line i can also declare them how uh, you can, with the help of the comma operators if you see here let me leave that var x comma y comma z so uh, okay already i have y some i'll take a so i can declare them even i can initialize them you can see this a is undefined because i have not also like this so you can see var a comma b comma c is equal to 10 so a b are still undefined a is undefined b is also undefined and you have your c that is defined that is equal to 10 so that is the advantage that is the usage of comma operator so there are certain advanced usage of comma operators that we will be seeing in the future videos for now comma operator remember this thing for now it is going to be okay because in la long because in large programs we're gonna be uh, recalling this thing okay so next coming to the next operator is your assignment operator so whenever you take whenever i am taking that c equal to 10 that 10 is been assigned to that c so that is an assignment operator but assignment operators in this in javascript are this all these are the assignment operators so let us see one by one how we're gonna be using each of these operators the first operator first i'll explain all of these operators the first operator is x plus equal to y so x plus equal to y is as same as x is equal to x plus y if you remember this thumb rule all of these assignment operators will be easy for you for example if i'm taking uh, x as 10 sorry if i took x as 10 and if i take y as f y i take y as 3 sorry if i take z as 3 i will if i take any f as 3 so I have two variables, x and f with their values. Okay, so if I write x is equal to x plus f, so what is your guessing? x is 10, so x is equal to 10 plus 3, that is going to be 13. This is as same as x plus equal to f x plus equal to f so this is the meaning of plus equal to operators so if i print i got 13 here so that there was no problem same thing goes with the multiplication division modulus and every single thing here so i don't think i need to explain every single one of them but i'll explain a uh, few of them this operator like x this uh, and is equal to y which is as same as x is equal to x and y so what is this and this and is actually or a logical and uh, in which we said we said that it is going to return true only if both are true or one okay else false or zero so this this is what about the and so let us uh, what if i give some numbers here for example if i give 5 sorry if i give x is equal to 5 and so, so not this and y is equal to i give 1 okay so what happens when you do x and is equal to y what it will do x is equal to what is the value of x 5 1 so what it will do is it will convert this 5 to binary as what is the value of binary of 5 you could say it's 2 power 0 you know how 2 power 0 it's 2 power 1 it's 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 you'll have like this like 2 power 1 is 1 so i need 5 so it means 2 power 2 
2 power 2 is 4 so I'll take here 1 4 plus 2 power 0 is 1 I'll take here so 1 plus 4 is 5 and remaining I'll take uh, 0 if you want a separate video on this conversion uh, let me know in the comment box or else let it be if you know it already so it will convert 5 like this now and operator now it will convert 1 as 0 0 0 1 what it will do first do 0 and 0 which is going to return 0 next do 1 and 0 which is going to again return 0 again 0 and 0 is 0 next you have 1 and 1 which is 1 so it will return answer as 1 so it will return the answer as 1 so you understood the procedure okay so let me let me try this one let me review if you if you you can have a look at this now so let us see var x is equal to 5 then you have var uh, y is equal to 1 so if i do v uh, x and is equal to y i want to get i have to get one now one you understood that how we got here so there is an or operator just or we will use our or logical table then you have this operator this is going to be exclusive or we are going to be using its exclusive or table right so you have to you, you have to know these tables so then only you can master these things so type of x i'll get number so this is very simple operator no need of anything much uh, here so this was all this was all about operators in javascript so there was stay tuned with me subscribe to my channel like the video thank you very much